again, I'm David Bruey. I go by my nickname is Red because when you're in the college sports world, everybody puts a nickname on you, right? So instead of them calling me a crappy baseball player, they all just said, hey, we'll just call you by the color of your hair when you're younger. So instead of being, you know, a piece of, you know what, I'm just got the nickname Red. So anytime you need me, I'm here to answer any questions. If you got a um, if you have a customer on lot and you want to call me straight up, just give me a call. Okay. Um, the focus on the foundation, BAL NXG frames. That's critical for us. So um, we said we, if we're going to focus on safety and we're going to focus on single axle new time first time buyers we have to make sure that the foundation is built just like anything right you build a house you don't start from the attic going down you start from the bottom the foundation right so vl next generation frames dexter axles what's so critical about our frames we build them in the house we assemble them in house we don't build them okay they're american made but they're assembled in house what does that mean i had no clue what that meant prior to um, going through my training, but the huck factors are the most important piece of that. If, if you guys are, are you pretty familiar with huck fasteners and the next generation frames, I had no clue until I read. So huck fasteners, every single one of our models from our 32 footers down to our 16 footers, the next one over, they're all assembled in house, and the huck fasteners are what you build airplanes. So they're extremely more durable, and the foundation that is built is, is, is better for the end user, especially when you have a single axle. So we're putting our frames individually together, so they come, we're assembling them together based on the model. So it's not just getting sent to us all as one, and then we're trying to build on top of that. We're kind of going right from the get-go. So you can talk about that, it's a big deal. Huck fasteners are, are typically what some, some fifth wheels don't even use huck fasteners, all right? And we're doing it on our, you know, 15,000 and under units, all right? Dexter axles, solid steps we're putting on most of our units now. It, it's individually built based on the customer, what, they, what they're looking for. Um, extra, extra wide uh, power awnings, uh, pass-through storage underneath. What we've done on all of our cadets, we have still the smaller handle on the, uh, the, the grab handle on the cadets. Um, our new doors are essentially top hold. So essentially what you do is you hold the top with your thumb and then all you do is pull with your one finger. You can open it very simply from right at the top of the door. If you try to pull like this and you pull from the bottom, you can pull as hard as you can, it won't come open. So the simple thing, and sometimes customers don't understand that, we want to put some signage there so it says open from top. And it could be really simple. Okay. Um, what we did was kind of building from the ground up. Our floors are all, and our, our plant manager told us this, our floors are all new. Tongue and groove, 5 inch plywood floors. Okay, no more. Um, five years ago, they used the OSB particle board, and that's obviously is, is terrible right so we upgraded that so you can you can really pitch that as a as a as a, as a big benefit now kind of going forward when we put the floors together they're not only um glued on top of the frame but they're also um screwed directly into the frame to prevent any kind of uh, Fight week. I like your vans. I got those in uh, blue. Um, but they're also screwed down into the frame itself to prevent any walking and creakage and all that kind of stuff. Um, new solid countertops. Um, what's nice, and especially down here, is the tinted windows. Tinted windows obviously are needed down in the south. Um, I was actually driving back. It's awesome. I was driving back from... Uh, uh, Nashville on a vacation the other day, Fourth of July vacation, and I there was this photo right here of a unit without tinted windows, but they have to use put in the back. Of the window. They're put 
an aluminum foil on the back of their trailer, right? So that's a big thing down here with the first time buyer, the tinted windows, the shades. Those are all kind of um, some of the more expensive things that we put into our unit for our territory down south. Um, power awnings, struts on the bed. You guys all know that it's pretty simple, so that it stays up. A lot of people are doing that, but it's, it is a, um, a benefit. Um, and then in a lot of our units, our focus is on storage. So we're coming out with some new units, um, launching around that expo, even though we're not having an expo, that are going to be um, extremely focused on the size of bedroom units, um, smaller single axle with double bunks, but unique seating so that you can have more of an open concept. We're going to have a really nice um, bedroom in one of our tandem axles that's going to nobody's going to have the size of the bedroom that we're going to have so those are going to be positive uh, changes here moving forward. Does that make sense? Alpha roofing so you've got an 18 year warranty on that. Okay, direct from manufacturer. How many here? Um, 18 year. Okay. Okay. You got the friction hinge yeah, doors. It's on all of our... Yes sir. Yep. Uh, so that's just a quick overview questions anything that jumps out to you when you're taking customers through the units and i'm leaving this open because you got you i guarantee you, you know more about RVs than i do i'm kind of putting myself out there asking questions right now because you can uh, you'll probably already have the answer seven wide Seven. seven wide and seven six on some of the bigger cadets. I don't want to uh, give away a secret because my man's videotaping this, and I'll tell you it afterwards, but we are having a little bit change to that. Okay. So you will have where's the first bar that has to fly? Um You've got your 17 VHS, your 17 FQS, one's obviously a bunk slide, and one is um, your couple's coach slide. Yep. We've got to get you down here um, in talking in talking with David up in Greer. He said that there's a lot there's a lot of your Thank you. 